And good day, all of you. Jean Henderson here of the Beverage Ramble, back again with you. Another Beverage Ramble edition today from AGM. Looks like this is a, well, I believe it's the same company that does Oriental Brewing. But anyway, uh, Terra Hype Brewing Company. Uh, this is uh, from South Korea. 4.6% ABV, a Euro pale lager. Foam. Mm. Uh, I picked this up at, uh, what was I? Yeah, I picked this up at the, at the Tower. But I've seen this beer a lot. Uh, not only at Tower, but many of the uh, specialty shops, especially a lot of these um, Japanese, Asian uh, supermarkets, Super H market particularly. Um, we have another one right up here called the Buford Farmer's Market, huge market, but a lot of Asian and some amazing produce that they sell there. Um, so and I, I've seen this around and I kept saying to myself, I know I've done a review of this, but I kept looking at my videos and videos and it looks like I didn't. So, so one of those things, hey, you always go back in the archives and see what's there. Um, as I said, I picked this up. Uh, this is a... Um, a European lager, or some say Czech Pilsner style lager. Um, I said 4.6%. Some wet side said it's 4.5. As you can see, it looks like your standard everyday lager. I can see my face. I can see the camera through you. Yes. It has a very crisp malt taste. According to the real carbonated beer made from pure AG malt. So. So again, I'm, I'm guessing Oriental Brewing are people behind Cass, Cass Fresh, another real good beer. Um, uh, possibly also Oriental Brewing as well, maybe. But first beer of the day, smells nice, smells good. Let's have at it, cheers. It has like a sort of a biscuity, it's malty, but a little biscuity taste to this. It is refreshing for sure. And since I moved up here in 2021, I've been just bum a plethora, <coughs> excuse me, of some amazing, really good. Um, beer said I was not getting in Mobile when I lived down there. Um, especially a lot of these Oriental beers, particularly. Um, like this one, and Cast Fresh, and I you mentioned know, Oriental Brewing, and even um, a few others come to mind. But um, um, some from India, Taj Mahal, that's one of them. Another good one. One from Ethiopia, I've also seen. I, I, I just been blessed, guys. Um, just a a very diverse community that I have been up here seeing. So just to be around, not just folks from my native Haitian community, but from the Oriental, the Asian community, Ethiopian community, many from South Africa. You know, and then a lot of that those products have influxed their way through here, which is a good thing. Diversity is good, folks. I say it's always a good thing. So, I've been very fortunate for that. Decent, nice, refreshing. Really good. Again, sort of that biscuity taste. Um, I'm not going to do a lot to go on in this about this video. Um, but the price point was a little high. And I, when I, I bought, this was $3.99 for this 18 ounce bottle. So that's a little bit steep. I would guess maybe $2.99, but for a pint size for $3.99, it's a little much. But if you go to the, go to the stores, and yeah, price range is about from 10, 11, about 11, about 11.99 for a four pack of this, six pack, excuse me, of this. And I don't know I'm willing to spend all that. Even for a 12 pack, as you're talking almost 20 bucks. That's, that's a bit high. Way too high for a 12 pack of beer, especially for something like this. But you know, I could see some willing to do that if they like want to throw that money down. Now, not me, you know, I'm not a 
high life, I will go that route of Keystone. But I think of all of them that are inexpensive of the, of the ones from from this brewery or from there, I would say the ones I think Castle's probably been the least expensive. But that was like almost that's that's nine ninety nine for as well for a, a twelve pack. But that's still a little cheaper than this, way cheap. So. So the other day I got a, a, a 12 pack of, of Kirin. Each of them, each of them. Uh, that's a good. And that was like $9.99 for a 12 pack. So I, I can work with that. But always look for deals. I'm always looking for deals all the time. So it, this beer reminds me a lot of, um, well, it reminds me of, of Heineken and a little bit of Pilsner Urkel. Um, What's another one that's also popular that's kind of had the same taste? Same, uh, another Euro lager. I, I'm not gonna say Bex. Per, uh, yeah, Peroni. That's the other one. Peroni, uh, Astora. That, that's good. That would seem probably be the one I, I, I'm kind of it's coming close to reminding me of this. Is, so, and those are probably less expensive to buy, but, um, Overall, good beer, good malt, and it's fresh, it's refre refreshing for sure. Again, that sort of biscuity flavor, which is okay that you get in most Pilsners. I say it's a Euro lager, a pale lager, but it's, they're describing it as a Pilsner, Czech style Pilsner. But um, Lagunitas Pils is also good. Uh, that's also less expensive too. So, they're Czech style Pilsner, excuse me, by Lagunitas. Um, just the price point, probably the one that I would say that's kind of saying, mm, maybe I will kind of take a step back and maybe get something else. Uh, so, um, I'm going to go, I never had a bad beer. Well, I've had some bad beers, but I'll go on this one. Of, I'll go B. Just the price point is really just a little steep. Again, would I pay $3.99 for this? Maybe two, probably, but three, four bucks for that, uh, a little much, but. So I saw it, and I said, let me try it, review it, and I am. Oh, and that's the other one, the checks that they sell at Lidl. That's what also this is reminding me of, too. Um, and that one is only $2.99 for the, the size bottle, too. But four bucks for this, no. Yeah, well, it's just only a dollar more. Don't be a cheapskate. Yes, I'm a cheapskate, so, so I want to save my money. You know, so I'm, yeah, so that's one of the things, the price point. I said that's a good Pilsner, and great, but it's good. So I'll go B on this one. That will be an 8.1. So, I right, B minus. There. Grading things are still times off for me. but So I'll go 8.1 for the Terra from AGM, uh, or Height Brewing. In space in South Korea, so I should have had other beers from this brewery. Uh, again, I have to look back in my videos. I should have done that before I started this video, but anyway, show's over. So, B minus for the Terra. Check it out; you may like it. And yes, it'll be good with any Asian cuisine, spicy Asian cuisine for sure. And yeah, there's a lot of fish, a lot of spices. There you go. John Anderson Pierre, the beverage ramble team. Keep on watching as always. Cheers. Live, laugh, and love. Terra, 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 Terra. Enjoy.